Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. And they said nobody beats the claw machine. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cody. The guy you see on the screen is Eli. And today we are delivering a claw machine. As you can see, these are five identical Route 66 claw glowing machines, neon machines, whatever you'd like to call them. These are very, very nice machines. Um, these have to be probably my favorite, if, if not the top three for sure. Um, and today we want to show you the win rates on said machine since these are brand new machines we have to set them ourselves otherwise I think they're set at max settings so let's crack it open and while we're opening this up um, I just want to thank you all so much 300 subscribers uh, you guys are just giving me so many likes and and the comments are great thank you so much it means the world to us and uh, we really really appreciate it uh, what you're looking at in Eli's hand is uh, it's a remote control um, for lack of better word it, it kind of looks like it's a microchip or something but but yeah that's the uh, the remote control and as you can see the the display on the crane has a bunch of different options we don't we don't mess with most of the options on this machine it's ready to go out of the crate you can see the ratio is pulled up now it says 16 credit um, we set ours to 1 in 8 so four dollars needs to be put into the machine before it'll have full strength you have places like walmart or um just any just any huge corporations that have uh like any in running their stuff man they they jack up the ratio to something just crazy one in 20 uh just just out of this world and you know, you get people saying things like uh, cranes are a ripoff or cranes are a scam or you know anything like that. And I think there's a level of uh, of being ethical about it, about it all. You know, you can you can go out. I could jack up the ratio to a point where it's impossible for you to win. That's very very true. But you know, for what I put in the machine, for what we put in the machine, like different plush or maybe it's a it's a different kind of toy or what have you um, I think it's I think it's important that you you match up what's in the machine to a price point that's appropriate you know you can't be too greedy uh, I it's just not the right way to to go about things and plus you're going to miss out on reoccurring business and a lot of people that play these things especially if you have them in grocery stores or restaurants um, they get played, they get replayed by the same people. We have the machine open, you can see the guts inside of it. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, the board there on the left, the cash box on the bottom. You got a meter in there, and you know, I'm not really too sure how all that stuff works. I could look more into that. Um, but we're gonna put it up on the truck. This is when we're uh, taking it to our new location, it's a gas station. Gas stations, um, if you if you get the opportunity, do not shy away from it. Gas stations can do very, very well. We're putting this in, and we're also putting in a coin pusher at the same location. There it is, set up. This is a pretty big gas station that it's in. Uh, they got a big beer section and a bunch of snacks and pizza and, and all that kind of cool stuff. So this is a very good location, and... Uh, I have a very good feeling about it. It's going to do very well, especially when we get that coin pusher in here. So yeah, nice little spot. And for the end of the video, we just had to come by and refill the change machine. I thought we'd crack open the coin pusher and see what we have uh, for next time and see if you guys want to guess, you can comment down below and tell us what how much you think it is. There you go. 
All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you liked it even more, go ahead and subscribe. These are the kind of videos we like to make, and uh, we, we have all intentions on keep on making them. So thanks for watching.